Welcome to BrickLayer. This video gives an overview of the BrickLayer ecosystem. It will show you what can be done in BrickLayer, it will show you how to run BrickLayer, and it will show you how you can learn to code in BrickLayer. At its core, BrickLayer is a coding environment for creating two-dimensional and three-dimensional artifacts. For example, in BrickLayer you can create freeform art, you can create three-dimensional artifacts. You can create mathematical artifacts. You can create Minecraft artifacts. And you can create 3D printable artifacts. BrickLayer is designed to be easy to use. The example that we're going to look at now assumes that BrickLayer has been installed on your computer. Here you see a simple BrickLayer program which has been saved in a file called example01.bl. The bl file extension tells the computer that this file contains BrickLayer code. If we double click on the file with the left mouse button, that will let BrickLayer execute the code and will display the resulting artifact in LEGO Digital Designer. LEGO Digital Designer is a freely available tool developed by the LEGO Group. One thing you can do in LEGO Digital Designer is blow up an artifact. Let's do this to the BrickLayer artifact that we've created. So first I'm going to position it. I don't want the artifact, I don't know, I don't want us to be too close to the artifact when we blow it up. I'm clicking up here. And now I get to select the background or the environment where I'm going to blow up my artifact. I like space, so, and then if you click on this button, the artifact gets blown up. Ready? Three, two, one. It's worth mentioning that the shape of an artifact can have a significant effect on how it breaks apart when it blows up, and it is fun to experiment with artifacts that have different shapes and colors. This example assumes that you have access to a web browser and an internet connection. If you have this kind of setup, you can create BrickLayer artifacts using an online app called BrickLayer Lite. BrickLayer Lite is a block-based coding environment in which BrickLayer programs are created by snapping together pieces of code to form a program. Let's build a small program right now. So the program that I'm creating is a very simple one that places a one by one blue brick at the origin. To run one of these programs, all you need to do is click on the run button. If you do this, you will then see the artifact that you created and below in a pane you will see the text corresponding to a, a BrickLayer program that if you ran it in the way that we've described in the previous example would let you view this artifact using LEGO Digital Designer. BrickLayer Lite also lets you save programs that you create to the cloud. You do this by clicking the Save button. Your program then, this program here, is saved to this location at the cloud. I would recommend if you do this to copy and paste this somewhere. This is a long address here. Currently, BrickLayer has one level where you create artifacts by hand and five levels in which you write code to create artifacts. Each level has reading material, examples, and assignments associated with it. And in most cases, levels also have special projects associated with them. So for example, in level four, there's a special project that shows you how to build Minecraft artifacts. BrickLayer also has a variety of tools that help develop skills related to computational thinking and coding. Uh, one such tool is called BrickLayer Grid. It's basically graph paper online, and it lets you experiment with certain kind, the creation of certain kinds of patterns before you code them up. 
This is sort of a prototype, if you will. Another app is called Animator that shows you how laces can be created. So this is a particular lace pattern. And if you iterate this pattern, you will get a larger and larger lace structure. Now, I would like to mention that there's a by hand section that involves creating laces, as well as a coding section where you learn to write code to create these kinds of patterns. But perhaps the most important app to learn how to code is Vitruvia. So Vitruvia breaks down coding into a number of concepts, and each concept has exercises associated with it. So for example, in this first concept, all what we're learning about is coordinates. So it tells us here, this, this exercise says, put a one by one green brick in the cells whose locations are listed here. So it's just getting us practice understanding coordinates. If we want to refresh our memories how all of this works, we can turn on the training wheels. Otherwise, we can take them off. We submit our answer. If it's correct, we get the happy sound. If it is incorrect, oops, if it's incorrect, we get an unhappy sound, in which case we can try again or we can see what the answer is. Now the concepts get more and more difficult and by the time you are at concept five, you're ready to write your first bricklayer program. And finally, I will conclude this video by telling you a little bit about the bricklayer software. Bricklayer provides documentation for each coding level a complete listing of the LEGO and Minecraft pieces available in BrickLayer, as well as detailed instructions on how to install BrickLayer. BrickLayer can be installed on either a Mac or Windows machine. However, currently it is easier to install BrickLayer on Windows machines. Thank you very much and happy coding.